Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hey, hello, farmers. Welcome back to Ravenport. We are harvesting our oats down by the chicken farm. Our John Deere, after last episode, has finished planting the soybeans up at the rail yard. And right now, I actually got a worker. Ah, I missed a little bit. I actually got a worker fertilizing field eight under a contract for 28 grand. I'm like, you know, I'll hire someone to do it. I mean, I want you to pay me 28 grand. So we got our case tractor and our modded fertilizer spreader going to town on that field. So it shouldn't take them too long. Um, I'm starting to do probably a little bit more contracts than I used to for a while. Just because I can see us getting the loan over with. And meaning we can buy more fields. Because like I said, I've said many times already, now with all the animals that we have, it seems like all of our fields are being taken up by just taking care of the animals. So um, it would be nice to buy a bigger field so we can sell grain. That would be nice. But for today, we're going to take care of these three fields here pretty quickly. I've already got the other two fields done. Uh, we're going to grab the new Holland and pick up the straw and sell the straw. Uh, we will top off the horses just because. And then we'll get the John Deere going to these fields. Well, I checked the first field. I did one strip. I checked the first field. It doesn't need nothing, meaning plowing or lime at this moment. And then later on, uh, we should be able to do a cotton harvest. It might not be until the following day. So right now I'm just focusing on these fields right here to take care of. As far as our fields go, it's just a cotton field to be next. We are kind of waiting for the barn price for the silage to go up. The price when the silage was ready was going down. And I guess the good news is it stopped going down in the 300s. Now I'm playing on normal difficulty and normal economy. So 300 is the low price. So if we go in here, we can kind of see, I think it stopped at like 303 or something, 301. So hopefully next time it goes up, you know, say it gets up to like 350 or even at best, I have seen it get into the 400s once, once or twice, not in a great demand, just got to 400s. That would be great. But I'm not going to worry about that. When the price when the price peaks, price peaks, and we'll sell it. We got a million liters, so basically just take whatever the price is, and that's how many uh, thousands of dollars we get. So if it ends at like a three three forty eight, we'll get three hundred forty eight thousand dollars selling all that silage. So uh, can I sneak through here? I need to download. Uh, the header and combine I'm using from is from Stevie. Uh, he has an updated header for the fix of the header kind of once in a while still grabbing the ground. Uh, it's actually a giant's fix. But I need to download this uh, updated header for this thing and get that taken care of. Also, I didn't download them, but there is a... It's the same mod for the eggs. Uh, I think it's the same mod creator. I didn't really read it too much, but I looked at it quickly. So now you can kind of... This, this holds 2,400 liters. I think the new egg crates... Uh, he has variable ones out there. It's not like the wool. When we bought the wool pallets, you saw... You just go... You know, you go in the store, you buy one wool pallet, then you have the option. He made separate mods for each... Uh, how many liters it can hold. But right now, he does have a couple... Out, you know, he does have a mod out there... Where the basket holds 9,600 liters, somewhere in that area. I might be wrong on the liters, but it's an updated one. I didn't download it because, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing the pal updating the pallet, seems like, every day at this point. So I was like, you know what, that's good enough for now. Uh, we'll fold that up. Unfold that. I shouldn't need a harvester, wow, for maybe a couple days now, actually, because... We've done a lot in this in-game day. Meaning field work as well. So none of these fields are going to be ready for a couple days. 
Now, let me just park it around this side here. I really need a hanger for a couple of my harvesters. I mean, I got the cotton harvester just sitting outside. This harvester is always sitting outside. And here we are in our third episode of the T8. That's a nice view. So, let's clean up these two fields here, then we'll get the John Deere working. I have figured out also on the GPS mod, I don't know why I missed it, um, there is a way to turn off the white dotted lines when you're just driving around. I mean, it's pretty plain and simple, but I missed it, so I can show you that in just a second in case you haven't quite figured it out yet either. I'm pretty sure you have, as long if you can read, if you can read English, uh, it's not that hard. <laughs> um, I can't read English and I can't uh, speak English that well either. So like I said, the straw, we're going to top off the horses and also sell the straw. Oh yeah, I also did take a transport job from the cement factory up to the dam. Uh, I haven't been to the dam since... Well, I did my first look at Ravenport when 19 came out back on November 20th. But it doesn't look like the dam has any work to go on. If you watched last episode, we kind of did some transport jobs to the construction site over here. And I went back and watched Mr. Sealy P's video on make sure I heard him correctly. Now, he doesn't know if it's true or not, but he kind of heard and he's not sure if it's true or not either. But if you keep making transportation uh, deliveries from the cement factory to the construction site and also to the wool spinnery, those are the areas that have, well, construction going on. And apparently if someone says, oh yeah, if you make enough deliveries for it, it'll slowly get built. Now, they didn't say how many deliveries you have to make. It would be a nice little Easter egg that farming simulator uh, giants would put in. I mean, it's the thing that they could do. Like I said, I saw it on, there was a map on 17 to where you can go around the, the map and build up the houses. Now, the way it was is you just see like an empty lot and it'd be like the indicator where like where you sell like wood or something like that. And you just hit the button and the houses, you slowly, you see it get erected in stages within about 15 seconds. So I could see where they could code it in to where the houses get built up a little by little. Now, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but so now I'm doing transportation jobs. I mean, we got the truck, we got the forklift. Instead of just sit, having the truck sit there and not make money only to sell wool and eggs, I might as well make a couple grand here and there by doing contracts. And for how fast that truck goes, you can get to point A to point B rather quickly. And it's really kind of convenient to have that truck now because, well, you got the forklift that attaches to the truck so you don't have to have like a tractor with a front loader and haul a trailer and that flatbed holds quite a bit now let's turn this off raise up the lifter um hay is over here Or straw, I should say. I said hey, but it's actually straw. You knew that, though. You knew it. And I've kind of decided that in these fields, we are going to plant barley because we only have 10,000 liters of barley over here, so we got room in the storage area. Our chickens are doing well, obviously. All right, wheat, barley, there we go. So I'm gonna set this guy off on a worker because I'm busy doing some straw stuff. I'm going to collect more straw, uh, let that guy do his thing. We got the case tractor 
Uh, how's he doing? Uh, he, wow, he's just about done. He is just about done. He's right here. So he's going to do like one little strip here and he should be done. And I'll get 28 grand, which is going to be nice because I want to do a little something for the horses today as well. I've been wanting to do it. And I keep forgetting to do it at some point. But uh, I'll bring it back in just a little bit when we have more things taken care of. Uh, one other thing I should probably should check because we are going to sell it is how much is the straw going for? 87. That is not a bad price actually. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll bring it back in just a second and uh, we'll do some more stuff. Now having the one extra tractor in the T8, it sure has helped out the farm quite a bit. I was thinking about that when I was picking up the straw. So before, I would have like the Case tractor and the John Deere tractor over here. The Case could kind of pull this a little bit, this loading wagon. It did all right and the John Deere would seed. But now, obviously the New Holland had no problem hauling the straw around. The John Deere seating and the case tractor was off doing the contract. So you can see our cash is up. I think we're down like two grand. Now we're up to 44. So I got 28 for doing field number eight fertilizing. And the first load of uh, straw I brought, I got seven grand, something like that, over seven grand. And that load, I got almost 6,000. Putting us up to $44,000 already. Just by doing a contract and selling some straw. The John Deere has finished the two fields over here. We're going to grab that guy and bring him over and do the field up on the hill. The wonderful hill. Actually, I may... No, I'm going to use the John Deere because I do want to show you... Um, before, I was driving around with the dotted lines on it and I was like, there's got to be a way to turn it off. I, I hope it's not on all the time. And it's not on all the time. I just... I just couldn't read. You probably saw it. It was like peanut that's how you turn it off now I, I was just like uh, i don't see it i don't get it uh but now i do so <laughs> we're gonna come up here grab the john deere uh make sure everything's good yeah everything's fine all right so we'll just drive over here so to bring up the gps system it's control s it's right here it says show lines off on so before i was driving around like this i'm like what white dial line how to get rid of it uh yeah you just gotta no nope, wrong button peanut jeez you just said control s now you can escape control s show lines off and there's no uh save button or anything like that if i do auto wit yeah it auto corrects okay and there you go no more white line easy peasy nice and easy so now i just need to bring this guy over here one heck of a bump right here. There we go. As I learned, I finally learned, I used to do the headland start at the bottom, work, work my way up and struggle near the top because the John Deere didn't have the traction for it. And finally my brain said, hey stupid, uh, why don't you start from the top and work your way down? And I was like, you know what, that might be a good idea. Self, thank you. So now we'll head on down, get the one headland done. That's all we need to do. Don't go too fast over that little knoll and bump there because the seed drill actually gets a little airborne once in a while and doesn't plant nothing. And then I always start at the bottom here because if I start at the top, they don't ever do the bottom because uh, all the animal pens are in the way. So hire a helper there. I'm not in the way. Let's go. All right. So we got some barley going. But what we're going to do now that we got uh, some a little bit of cash. I'm not going to spend too much here. But we're going to go into the shop to decorations. All the way down here. There's a grass. We're going to put down some trees. I kind of feel kind of bad for our horses. You know, it's a, it's a hot, you know, it's always hot out here. Boom, we'll put a tree down for them and there. Uh, you'll get one here. Uh, I don't want to put poplar down. I don't want a dead birch tree. Uh, big birch tree, birch tree, medium, big. Um, and a small birch tree, birch tree, small. Let's go with this guy right here. 
and we'll just put pop one there and we'll just pop one here and then we'll go with like this one here like a little one there do the chickens actually need any trees um we'll just plant a couple of these just to get, if they want shade we'll give them some shade Um, actually, let's go back in here. Uh, we'll actually plant a dead one in here. Just because. And then we'll put one of these guys in here like that. There we go. It kind of spruces the place up a little bit as well. Uh, but also gives the horses some shade. Um, wow, I'm really sorry here. Are, are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. He can get out. So, <laughs> and as far as I can tell, you can also, yeah, you can cut the trees down as well. So that's interesting. I, I don't want to do that. There, so now the horse has got some shade. The chicken's got some shade. Even got the dead tree in here. I kind of like it. I shouldn't say kind of. I like it. I like it a lot. So while that guy's finishing. I'm hitting the wrong button. Like I'm playing Farmer's Dynasty. Which I'm not. Wrong button. Now we're going to come in here. Ah, This is where I need to turn auto save off. And we'll save game. So you know what I do that. We're going to do some landscaping, some painting, some stuff. Oh, I hate when it brings you back to the last place you built something. That's annoying. Trying to be very careful with my brush strokes here. And we'll just make a little pad over here. Can I, I was like, is that going to delete my uh, harvester? Just a little extra area to park him. Might have a little patch underneath the harvester. We do. We can fix that. Why did it not stay on the one I was on? There we go. A little bit of landscaping. Now we got a nice pavement area. Uh, extended this out just a little bit more. And then we got a path down to here. So we bring our mower and tether and windrower around to the grass field. We got easier access to that. We got trees over now for the horses and the chickens. And Helper D has finished his task. So instead of running over, we'll see, make sure he did everything well. And looks like he did. So I'm going to bring this on over to the cotton field because that's the next place it'll be needed. Actually, I probably have to bring it back to the BGA because I'm kind of low on materials. So I'm going to go fill this up, go park it at the cotton field. Uh, I'm going to advance some time and maybe tidy up just a bit and I'll bring you back and uh, yeah, we'll see what we're doing then. Who knows, I may even do a contract, a couple contracts off camera. I got a little time today so I may do some of that just to get some extra money, help pay off the loan. I would like to kind of be a little below one million dollars by the end of this episode. Um, we could be even a lot lower depending on if we sell silage. We might be doing that as well. But we bring it back in a while and uh, we'll see where we stand or sit or ride. Just a little bit of an update. 
it's dark out and we're weeding and it's almost midnight and I didn't get the loan below 1 million. It got close, 1 million 40,000 we owe. We're about to see us go into the hole once again. Well, we're in the hole because we owe one million dollars. Oh, 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 oh. I can't leave that little weed right there. So I did a couple contracts, uh, paid off the loan as much as I could. I only can pay off five thousand at a time. So once I got below five thousand, yeah, so I couldn't pay off any more. So our loan interest is now below six thousand. So I'm losing about 17, 16, 17,000 a night right now. A lot of that is for the horse helper. Uh, finally, the crops have grown one stage. I can begin fertilizing as well. But I want to bring it back, give you an update. I've been weeding the fields. Uh, the two by the sheep and pigs. The rail yard, and now I'm over here. And now that the crops are grown, I'm pro I got the new Holland ready to go. It's ready to fertilize. I'm probably going to set that on a worker while I do this. Because fertilizing at night is difficult to see where you've been. So I'm going to continue weeding. I'm going to get the new Holland going on fertilizing the fields. That should catch up rather quickly because the working with it can go. And yeah, I will see you in the morning. Probably doing some cotton. That field might even be ready. The silage is still... Right there, it's not moving. Uh, the cotton is not a bad price. It did go down a little bit uh, in the evening, and it stopped. So hopefully that would be there. Uh, cotton field is, well, I guess it's ready. But we'll do that in the morning uh, when it's bright out. Yeah, I got to weed these fields, as you can see. These fields are all done. So I'm going to get the guy fertilizing, and I'll see you oh, in a few hours. Well, for you in a snap. It is the early morning hours, and yes... We are cutting the corn for chaff because the price on silage is starting to go up. And if everything works out the plan this early in the day, if I, you know, we got one times the speed here. So once we get done with this, I'll get a tractor on course play. Uh, why did you stop? Uh, compacting the chaff. Uh, pipe out please because I got it so the pipe's got to be out yeah so we get a someone compacted the chaff we get it compacted right away and start fermenting it'll be ready today which means we could sell it today if the price is nice and high can you go on a worker now apparently you can okay so that means we'll have hopefully 2 million liters of silage to sell so right now, last time I checked, the price was 308 and rising. It just started to go up. So that's when I checked the cornfield. I'm like, this cornfield should be ready today. I'm like, oh, it is ready for cutting in the chaff. Uh, the new Holland's at the rail yard. He finished fertilizing the field, but he didn't quite do a good enough job. So I'll have to go up there and tidy up that and then bring it down to the chicken farm. Uh, finished fertilizing that and I'm hoping I can bring the new Holland over here and he can compact the chaff Course play only seemed to work in the John Deere if I can get it to work in the case That'd be great because he's got dualies on there. I can put dualies on the John Deere But I think it's cost me like 20 grand for dualies on that No, don't get stuck You're gonna make me go all the way around and back up, huh? Oh, that's going to kill my uh, production right here. Well, I'm going to continue this. I'll bring it back when uh, I got something compact in the chaff. We'll see if we got our million liters or not. And then our cotton is ready, as we all know. So, yeah, I'll see you probably in about 20 minutes. Well, we made it this far. <laughs> we got another silo of chaff getting compacted into silage, hopefully. Well... To be compacted, then covered into silage. And as we can see, the T8 does... I was glad to see the T8 except course play. So he's got, he's got the task of compacting this lovely chaff. Um, if we come down here, drop on down, turn on the HUD. Uh, there's our 1,064,000 liters that we usually sometimes get. 
Wow, he's already up to 13%. He started at 5, so he's, uh, you know, seems like it goes faster when you don't do it. So he's going to be busy doing that. Uh, yes, we're almost uh, just over 17,000 in the hole. Uh, we got the truck already plowing the field. It does need lime. I will get to that in a while. Uh, probably in between episodes or maybe at the beginning of the next episode. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this just yet. If we go, uh, not to the money page. Well, the one thing I wanted to show on the money page, I noticed this uh, in the middle of the night when I was checking out and paying off the loans. If you look at our finances, uh, at the end of the day, look at that. You know, positive, 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 positive. Nothing in the red. I think it was uh, not uh, Friday, but the last Thursday was the last day we were in the red. So it seems like every day now we are making a profit and paying off our loan. Which we could do quite a bit today. Oh yeah, I was going to go in here. Uh, wow, 331 and still rising. So when this price peaks, uh, we'll start selling the silage out of uh, the bunk the first bunker. And if the other silage happens to ferment and finish off, and the price is still good, we'll sell the other million liters today. It should be today that it be ready. Probably not until like. Uh, well, it's usually like, what, 11 hours? Ooh, all that is not in there all the way. Yikes. Uh, it's close enough. Uh, what is, is, and what is, isn't. Uh, so, yeah. How are you coming along? 18%. Wow, he's compacting it fast. I don't know if they, they take consideration the weight of a tractor. Yeah, he's kind of pushing some out as well, but that's all fine. So, yeah, we got our 1 million... 38, 41. 35, 23. So 300 liters difference. Although some of it could be actually outside of the bunker. But anywho, it's early enough. Oh, uh, well, I should say bright enough. We're going to come on down here. We're going to hop into this bad boy. Now the price of wool, I don't know if you saw, it's not bad, but it's not the best. So I may hang on to it during the day. There's no sense of selling it right away. The last price fluctuation for wool, it was dropping. So maybe next time it'll be rising. I don't know. Hopefully it will. If it does, uh, we'll, we'll just keep it until later in the day. It's not like in Farming Simulator, I believe it was 15, where if you had a loan you got charged the interest by the hour. I think it was 17 that kind of started off to where you just got charged at midnight. How many lights we got in this thing? One, two, three, four. Oh, side lights even. Interesting. So now the question becomes is how much wool can we get off our nice new cotton field? Well, it's time. I think I do a time lapse. We'll harvest this field and see what we get. And if all things go well, maybe you'll see me drop a load. That sounds wrong. Anyways, I'll see, I'll see you at the other end of the time lapse.
be honest, I was kind of hoping for somewhere around 40,000 liters of cotton. We're not going to get that. And I was thinking if it's less than 30, I may just cry. Uh, <laughs> we did hit 30, so I guess I'm not going to cry. Um, yeah, but I was hoping for like more like 40. Only because, I, what were, we, were we getting 12 or 16 thousand liters before with the two combined fields that we had so I was thinking well by adding the bigger field and then adding the space in between it we should get you know I was thinking maybe around 40 I don't know but it is what it is not going to complain too much because basically you got to take the amount of liters that we got and double it and that's pretty much what we can get if we sell it right now so right now we're looking at somewhere around sixty-four thousand dollars worth of cotton we got in here. It's probably like a little bit more than that because that's just basing on a price of two thousand. Right now the price is like twenty-one hundred. I do have a little piece down here that I kind of missed. So yeah, just over thirty thirty-three thousand liters. So it's not too bad. But then again, like I said, if it was 40, then I'd be really happy. But, you know. But the good thing is, uh, with the size of this harvester, we can keep that cotton right in there. Hopefully the price will go up some point today. If you can turn the lights off, it's starting to get a little bit brighter out. We'll go park it in its parking spot. I'll set the John Deere back up on course play because course play seemed to do a rather nice job of seeding the field last time. The field should not need nothing. Let's go ahead and check in here. Look at the price of silos, 340 and climbing. Ah, oh, the cotton is starting to go up. That's good too. So no lime, no plowing, which is good. Um, looks like we got some weeds growing into our cornfield that's fine as you can see that needs lime we'll hop right into our t8 hop right back out he is 60 percent done it this is what i was waiting for course play for doing this for half hour to 40 minutes not much fun i'm glad i put the wheel weights on there i could probably put dualies on the t8 to compact it but now that i'm not actually compacting it i can set a course play worker on it I really don't care. He's all good. So he's going to keep on doing that. He'll get done when he gets done. We'll we'll cover it up. I will leave it at one times the speed. Hopefully he can get it done by 7 o'clock in the morning. Another 20 minutes or so. He should be able to. That means uh, sometime around 6 o'clock tonight. The price. Or this, this should be fermented and ready to go. So hopefully the price of silage. When it does peak. Stays there for like 12 hours which sometimes it does so it'll be borderline so we'll have uh, that silage and this silage to sell and way the price is looking no, that's the wrong page so right now you get 300 we'll just say uh, we'll just say it peaks at 350 you're looking at 700 grand worth of silage here and our loan is just over 1 million it's actually 1 million 40 thousand so we could just we're going to pay off every cent to that loan. And plus we got the cotton to sell as well. As for our other fields, those will, those will be ready in the next day. But they are fully fertilized, fertilized, fertilized. Um, but the only field that's actually going to bring us in some money is this one right here. That's soybeans. This is all wheat. We're going to put that in the storage for the pigs. And this will be, we're going to sell some of the straw. I don't know how much we're going to get, but I think we're going to get enough to sell it. Um, we gotta top, we'll top off the cows, the pigs, and we got to make some total mix rations for the animals. Look at the pigs, though. Another 45 minutes, we'll get another pig. Uh, so that'll be 29 per, which means we have, gotten, we, have gotten, we have gotten 80 pigs since we put the pen down. We, we start off with 9 apiece. 999, so in about 45 minutes, yes, we'll get 29, so yes, 80. Uh, we're even up to 26 sheep. They're reproducing every 38 hours. Um, cows. We're going to get... Hey, we're going to get four more cows today. So yeah, the total mix rations, they'll need it in the next in-game day. 
And of course, our chickens are the chickens. Um, four more days on these horses, they'll be 800 grand. And of course, we just got these guys yesterday. So that's why they're kind of on the low side. But they'll improve. That's why we paid a horse up before. That's why we're almost $20,000 in the hole again <laughs> and again. But it looks like in a couple days, our loan will be paid off. And then uh, we can just start watching the money in the upper right hand corner go up and up. And I'm thinking once it gets to a certain point, we we're probably going to buy field 11. It's not a bad price for that field. It's actually, where can I get it? $680,000 for this field. At first I was looking at this field. I thought it would be more my price range, but that is $850,000. But you got a lot of land here that's not being utilized by the field. This is actually, this looks like a bigger field than this one and it's cheaper. So probably this field here. I thought about maybe expanding over to here, but these fields are 800,000. And I said, well, what about these fields here? They're a little bit cheaper. And then I'm thinking, yeah, but we're getting further and further away. So we're almost covering the entire map of, I mean, if we start getting into these fields up here, it'd be almost uh, worth it putting in like a huge garage and starting getting another set of implements like a seed roll and fertilizers and stuff like that. Uh, so I think for now we need to keep it around this area here for now. And, uh, if we ever get this far, who knows? Uh, like I said, I'm kind of looking for a map for the future, uh, near future. Because this map is starting to get to be where the farm is going to produce so much money. It's going to be ridiculous. But that's the fun part of it, right? Uh, wow, 72%. It's so nice not to have to do that. <laughs> it's so nice not to do that. I was actually dreading the last few times when the corn was ready for chaff. It's like, yeah, it's worth the money, but yeah, I'm just tired of compacting it. It doesn't bother me that much delivering it always to the barn, which I could set up course play to take the truck and the truck can drive off and he can deliver it and come back and I can sit here and do nothing, just let the truck drive. Um, I may or may not do that because you're looking at about, a, uh, let's see, uh, 10, 11, 12 trips. You're looking at 24 trips to the barn with all this if you do both. So, yeah, it gets kind of uh, monotonous at a time. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you next time in Ravenport. But until then, have a good one.